Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth problem of first experiment of level on time to software course. Today we will learn how to magnetically couple two inductors. We will do this through application. So let's get started. Let's have a look at the circuit. So this is a circuit. So I will first draw it and then magnetically couple it. So we need a V sign and three resistors now. So get a V sign and three resistors. Put it here, one here, and control after rotate it and put it here. Now I'll I'll take a look at the picture, and we can see that the inductors are facing each other, facing each other. So I will just get an inductor, controller twice, and set it here. And now I will copy it and paste it and then rotate it twice and set it here. And now I will draw the wires. After drawing the circuit, I will need a ground earth here. and I'll put it here. So now we have to set the values. So I'll double click on V sign and set V up to 0. Save it. V amplitude will be 120 volt and frequency will be 60 Hz. Now you have to do the task again for 90 Hz. So I, will ho I hope you will do that manually. I will do the demo for 60 Hz. Now I'll say OK and here we go. Now the resistor's value is 0 0.5 for R1 and R2. Okay, this will be 0 0.5. This will be also 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And this will be 0 0.15. 0 0.15. And this will be 0 0.5 Henry. Value will be 0 0.5 Henry. Let's say okay. And this value will be 0 0.5 milli Henry. 0 0.5 milli Henry. And say okay. Now the now the circuit is completed. Now we'll have to couple the inductors. So let's have a look at the task. First get a K linear. So we'll have to get a K linear from here. So I will put it here. Now the second task is set coupling value. Uh, we can see the coupling value is 0 0.999. So I will just do that. Double click on coupling and set the value to 0 0.999. And say OK. And finally we have to set the K button with values. So I will just do that. Double click on K. And L1 will be L1. Here we can see the first inductor is L1, so I put it L1 and save it and then L2 will be L2. Save and say OK. Now this will be our second node and this will be our fourth node. Now if we take a look at our task, we have to plot voltage and current of node 2 and 4. So I will just uh, plot voltage and current of node 2 and 4 and then uh, Flip this inductor and see it again. So I will first set up analysis and transient analysis. Now the frequency, the frequency is uh, 60 Hz. So time period is 16.67 milliseconds. So if we put final time around 50 milliseconds, this will be fine. So I will just do that. 50 milliseconds and print step will be as usual 10 microsecond. And say OK. And now close it. And now we will simulate it. Okay. So now we have to put V2 and V4. V2 and now V4. Now we can actually see the shape of the V4. So I will just multiply this V4 with some value. For instance 50. And here we go. 
so this is the graph now if we flip the second inductor we will see that this red curve will shift its face by 180 degree so we'll do that we'll cut it then paste it and then double rotate it and then put it here so here we can see the inductor name is l3 so we'll change this change it to l3 and say okay now we'll just simulate this one and plot v2 and v4 and v4 so now we can actually see the shape of v4 so we'll multiply it with 15 again 50 again So we can see the red curve or v v4 has shifted its face by 180 degrees. So our assumptions were right. So we'll close it. Uh, we'll close it, and now we'll do the same thing again for currents. So I'll plot IR1 at IR2. So IR2 is the green curve, and IR1 is the red curve. So now, if we flip the second inductor we will see the green curve will change its face by 180 degree so we will do that for you so I will just go here and cut it and then paste it and rotate it twice and set it here now we will again simulate this one uh, there are maybe some problems oh uh, as the name changed to L4 we have to change it to L4 and now simulate it again so now we will upload the values i have to uh, again and i are on so we can see the shape of the current or green i have to it has changed its face by 180 degree after flipping the inductor so our assumptions are again correct so i have completed the uh, task for frequency 60 hertz i will hope you will do the task for frequency 90 hertz so that's all in this problem so i hope you are clear thanks